Hi there, Frank here for Premium Members for the trading day of September the 5th, 2024, a Thursday. So first of all, new members, please make sure you read the documentation about Premium and also, of course, about our software with which we execute the trade ideas that we identify on Premium here. And also understand what the numbers mean here in the Market Scanner Pro. This is our brain, our Houston. This is where we get the trade ideas. And we use the software to execute those trade ideas. So this is how it works. Make sure you understand the columns, why the columns are there. Each column has a purpose, well-defined purpose, which is detailed in the documentation. All right, every once in a while, I might refer to some information here, but not always because it's obvious. And I'm just giving you a list of already identified opportunities on the markets. Okay, with all that said, let's start. Of course, the big sell-off was a little bit of a surprise yesterday, but perhaps not that much because one-sided markets are liable to fail, either permanently or, relatively speaking, of course, or temporarily. And this, if this is temporary, we have to wait and see. If we do come back, if there's a sharp recovery tomorrow, let's say come back around... 5,600 and close there, or even higher and close there, that would mean that the market made a mistake. We're not going down. So please watch price action. This is not an indication of a panicky selling here. I think you agree. So I'm still on the side of the bulls here. So I still think that this, or expect rather, that this bear flag will fail. But I'm not acting on it. You see, this is just an opinion. I need price action in order to end up in a position where I even consider a trade. So let's move on to currencies on which we have some good setups here. 6E, I do expect this to come back. Another, there are several lessons here, please, about failed patterns or about patterns which are likely to fail. This is a bear flag, obviously, but we're not going to short this bear flag. It's, under, it's important to understand that at this point, sometime in the past, how many hours before, 20 hours before, the market calculated a short signal here. And at that time, software doesn't make a mistake. It was a valid bear flag, but it already failed, you see. And now we're back up here with all this price action, green candles. This is not a bear flag you want to short. We expect this to fail, which means the bear flag fails to new users, obviously. And that means that we're going to start to look at the long side here. By the way, once we talk about the weekly, this candle, too early to say, but this candle could become a good stop area. So let's keep an eye on that too. If that becomes true, this trade could become similar to what we did two weeks ago on the 6N New Zealand dollar, go back. That was one of our classic success stories in August. Go back to that story on the New Zealand dollar if you haven't seen it or if you haven't participated. That was one trade where we got some 10 Rs with a very tight stop. Doesn't happen too often, but we were able to spot it in time. This could be a similar story. We don't know yet, but we'll be on top of it. Okay, and the other setup that looks attractive to me is the Swiss franc. Same story. This is a bear flag, obviously, but not a bear flag that I'm interested in shorting. Actually, I'm expecting this to fail, and I want to trade this to the upside based on the daily. Okay, let's move on to some other markets. There's GC I want to show you here, another bear flag, which I even marked it up. This is a lesson for all of us. This is a bear flag, yes, but you see this sharp reversal after that red candle, the sell-off failed. It was bought up instantly almost, and now we're back up here. Well, it is possible that the bear flag will break down, but at this point, I'm not interested. I'm more interested in monitoring for a failure, which means a move to the upside, in which case I'm going to look for a potentially... Uh, some kind of good entry area, and I can see this circle probably identifies that area somewhere around here, 
okay, I'll be considering a long trade if the next candle will be constructive for the bulls. All right, let's keep going. And then there was one more I wanted to show. Of course, I wanted to show you treasuries. Let's go with the treasuries. There's long setups having triggered on all three of them. So whichever you want to trade, the daily hasn't run away yet. The four hour admittedly has already, but the daily is just starting. ZB, ZF, ZN, all three look good. Look at this, just triggering on the daily time frame. You can do this with ETFs and look at this beautiful, beautiful structure on the weekly. And what could happen from here is, of course, and look at this. This was, of course, a failure test back then. Here we go. So this is where the whole story started. And now we are in a potential measured move, something like this. That would take us back to the top, 114. This is how it all comes together. So consider if you're interested in these markets and the opportunity consider long positions on treasuries either on the futures or ETFs for that matter and ZN just around the picture the 10 year here we go the four hour has gone away but again the daily hasn't yet and look at this weekly beautiful same thing beautiful structure on the weekly all right and I last but not least I want to show you ZW wheat which we said yesterday that we're waiting for a crossover, which means a violation of the previous resistance area, the breakout, in other words. This is happening as we speak. No rush on my part. I'll be waiting for a pullback here, and then we'll see what we can do with it. So we'll be back in the morning, and until then, mindful trading.